health care policy in America appears to be getting a bit closer. Conservative members of the Freedom Caucus who opposed the last version, you'll remember, came out in support of a new agreement. The new amendment is an attempt to appease some conservatives by allowing states to get a waiver for regulations on insurance companies that protect patients, like coverage for those with pre-existing conditions and so-called essential health benefits, which include things like ER visits and maternity care. States would have to show that people with high health care costs will be covered, either through a high-risk pool or a federal cost-sharing program. Joining us now, Republican Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio. He is a founding member of the House Freedom Caucus and served as its first chairman. Congressman Jordan, good to have you with us this morning. It's good to be with you all. Okay, so you uh, have moved uh, into yes on this yep. vote. You can get behind it. It does not give you the full repeal of Obamacare that you sought, no, the full repeal clear. of Obamacare that President Trump promised during the campaign. So why are you getting behind this? Well, at least it gives some states the chance to actually opt out of those regulations driving up premiums. But you're exactly right. This is not full repeal, and we've got to keep working. But I'm convinced we have made a bill better because of our engagement, because we held out on this bill. And I'm also convinced that if states get this waiver, premiums will come down for those families who happen to be in those states. So I think this is the best we're going to get right now in the House, but we've got more work to do. Um, so let's see if this, this and, and again, you, you, you preface it by saying this appeases conservatives. That, that's not the motivation. The motivation is to bring down premiums. If this amendment goes in and if states do the option, I think premiums will, com will come down for families across the, across the country happen to be in those respective states. So, Congressman, what has changed specifically for you from the last proposed bill that didn't even get a vote to this bill? What flipped you? Well, we've always been focused on bringing down premiums. Because conservatives engage in this debate, we now have work uh, requirements for those uh, able-bodied individuals in the Medicaid expansion population. The initial draft kept the Obamacare tax increases for a while. We get rid of those tax increases right away. And now with this amendment, we are at least going to give the option for some states who will get this waiver to lower premiums. So in the end, we said, look, the, the, just the makeup of Congress right now is we, we're not going to get the full repeal that we told the voters, so we got more work to do, and we as conservatives know that, but we believe this is the best plan we can get out of the House right now. We'll send it over to the Senate, and some of our conservative colleagues over there will have, to, will have more work to do to actually accomplish what the voters sent us here to do. Hey, Congressman, it's Nick Confessori. The poll numbers in Obamacare are rising as this process unfolds. How is it that more and more Americans are coming to support the old program as you and your colleagues are debating how to dismantle the program? Well, I think part of it's driven by the legislation that was rolled out and the process that were lack of process, frankly, that was employed with the with the bill. You know, the bill, the, the American Health Care Act only had a 17 percent of the population supported it. So it's a good thing we did engage and try to make this legislation better. Um, I think part of it's driven by, by that. So, you know, when you get in these debates, they're, they're, they're pretty contentious sometimes. But what we told the American people was that we would get rid of this law. Everyone knows Obamacare has been a problem. All the things we were initially told about this law that turned out to be false, like your plan, keep your plan, like your doctor, keep your doctor, premiums will decline, uh, the, the, that we were told initially the website would work, the website was secure, and on and on and on. Everyone knows this thing has been a mess. So let's do the best we can right now. And we think with this amendment, this is the best we're going to get. Let's pass it and move it over to the Senate and keep working. Congressman Mark Halpern has a question for you. Congressman, how, how, good morning. how close are you now as part of the, because I'm going to want to pass this to a majority, and when do you think the vote will be? Uh, I think we're close. You'd have to ask the whip team and the leadership, but the whip count that I had, I think we're, we're real close. And when that happens is when we have the vote. So uh, we will see. But I do think we're close to get an agreement, and then we can begin to move on with this, get it to the Senate, and then the host of other things we've got to deal with, securing the border, you, reforming you, the tax code, yeah. on and on and on, we've got to go. Are you, are you troubled by the fact that this vote will likely take place without an estimate from CBO, and therefore members and the public won't really know what this bill's about? Um, look, you can, you can, CBO has been right many times. They've also been wrong sometimes. I'm more focused on what this legislation is going to do for the American people. I'm more focused on bringing down premiums, uh, bringing back affordable insurance for working class and middle class families. I think that should be our focus. Um, and then we should keep working to fully repeal all of Obamacare. So that's my focus. I hope we get a CBO score. But if we don't, let's, let's, let's get focused on the things that matter to American families. That's, that's where I put my emphasis. Congressman, you and the governor of your state, John Kasich, have disagreed adamantly on some of the points within the health care debate over the last couple of months, particularly about Medicaid expansion, which he said he signed on for for the state of Ohio. And he said,
said is critical to many hundreds of thousands of people yeah. who depend on it in your state. What do you say to those people who might not get that coverage? I say we're trying to bring back affordable coverage. You know, this is a big difference between some of us who think that success should be defined as bringing back affordable coverage in the private sector where people can shop and buy the policy that fits their family's needs versus some folks who think, oh no, success is defined as signing people up for a government program. I just don't define success in that way. I define success as lowering the premiums so people can choose the plan that fits their needs and fits their family. That's what we want to bring back, affordable insurance, lower health care costs. Um, in choice for American families, not just signing people up for a can, government program. Can you, can you guarantee if this bill becomes law that those people who are covered by Medicaid expansion signed on by Governor Kasich, that they will be taken care of and covered? They have nothing the, to worry about this morning? The, 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 the law allows for the Medicaid expansion to continue. It just it flat out does that. Uh, not necessarily something I agree with, but it's in the legislation. What we've chose to focus on is the things I said before. Conservatives engaged in this debate. We got work requirements for some of those same people you're talking about, Mark. We also have the, the tax increases under Obamacare are going right away. And now we have the option in this bill for states to seek that waiver and actually lower premiums in their state. Those are three good things that will help American families. You think this gets through before I let you go? Is it going to pass the House? I think it will pass the House, but we're, I, don't, I don't know that we're there yet, but I think we're close. All right, Congressman Jim Jordan, leader of the Freedom Caucus in the House. Thank you so much. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.